everybody, Pastor Ryan, the Roving Giant here. I'm here with Marcus Corey. Hey, hey good to um, have you at Loon. We are at Loon Mountain. This is a unique video. It's, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff on this. The reason I'm out here with Marcus is I got some of the hammocks that I make. I also made these guys a bug net and a tarp and get, getting them all set up so that they can go on the AT next year, which is going to be sweet. So Marcus is also a pastor, chaplain. And uh, he works here at Loon Mountain in New Hampshire, in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. And we are hiking to the top so we can see their church. Yes, you heard that, right? Their church is on top. Oh, that was good, Chetty. <laughs> That's a zip line crew. That's great. And he just gave me a high five. I wasn't ready. <laughs> so we are heading to the top of the mountain because, yes, their church meets on top of the mountain. Super cool. They ride that gondola up. So we're gonna hike right to the top. I'll keep you posted along the way, but we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. Gonna show you some hammock gear. And you're gonna meet the Corys, the whole family, and get to see what this whole thing's all about. But yeah, it's gonna be a blast. Hey, can't wait to show you church a few thousand feet. Yeah, hey, there's awesome. disc golf course here. We're going to open a disc golf course next summer. Uh, it's going to be one of the most scenic disc golf courses probably in For real. England. It's going to be pretty. <laughs> 1800 vertical foot disc golf course. So, That's uh, awesome. Coming to you 2019. <laughs> That's so cool. It's <laughs> unreal that view. Nearing the summit. This is where we do winter church. Oh cool. Here's our little building. We have uh, coffee, meet and greet, little fire going in the pot belly stove in here. And uh, when it's 20 below, you know, 20, 30 of us meeting there, the frozen chosen. And when it's gorgeous, there's 60 to 80 out here on the snow deck. Leaves are gone and you got the view. That's awesome. And then this ridge up here. Yeah, so this is the folks that ride the gondola up. There's a little boardwalk and a little restaurant up here, the Summit Cafe. Awesome. That's a good way to end the hike. Sure is. How are you? How are you? Awesome. So I grew up as a pastor's kid, and before church, I'd always play, you know, in the basement, you know, in the, in the nursery. My yeah. kids, right? They are the, the the kids of a mountain chaplain, and they play in these caves. So this is a summit play for caves, and my kids play in those caves until they hear the church service start and they run up for That's church. That's funny. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Man, this can't get. Up. So uh, we are. At the top, at the at where they meet for church here. Here's church. What tell me what you just said about your your saying? No, as we have a saying at Loon Mountain Ministry, it's uh, where even an atheist says, "Oh my God." So check this out. That's just unreal. So you're looking into the Pema Jawasset Wilderness, a 33 mile loop with 14 uh, 4,000 footers. So. Now, now talking about what we're seeing. So, yes, yeah, so you're seeing the right. bonds. So, look is right. Okay. You're looking at the bonds. You have Bond Cliff, Bond, and then West Bond is that ridge back. That you see. Okay. With the three slides. Yep. Okay. And then way in the back, you see Geo, and uh, I think you actually see Garfield. Maybe is the furthest one back. And then 
you scoot over this way a little bit, we're looking over a hill called Whaleback. But then the first pyramid you see straight ahead is Flume. The one to your left is uh, Liberty, then Lincoln, and Lafayette. And that's the uh, Franconia Ridge. It's absolutely spectacular. That's beautiful, man. Ah, thanks for bringing me up. Yeah. This is awesome. This is really fun. <laughs> down the gondola. every Sunday. <laughs> so so cool. we have a uh, 2,000 vertical foot gondola ride every Sunday to church. <laughs> this is the way to do it, man. It is. The Sunday traffic at this church is the best. <laughs> it's, consistent, it's consistent, evenly spaced. <laughs> Very timely. Yeah. We were looking out into the presidentials up there, and I don't know if you can see Mount Washington, but it's the biggest one you can see back there, over 6,000 feet. If you haven't got a chance to come to the White Mountains, See the presidentials, you should. It's probably the closest feel to the West Coast Rockies you're gonna get on yeah. the East Coast. Oh, that's awesome. So where are we headed now? I got you on video. All right, so now we're headed back down into town to one of my favorite little spots called Black Mountain Burger Company. Right on. And uh, <laughs> to me, two things that make hiking worth it is the summit yeah. and the meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> square foot of uh, retail space it's about 40 percent of our funding allows us to hire you know locals we're able to do between 20 and 25 thousand dollars in assistance in town and uh, it's really cool because between 30 and 40 thousand folks walk through these doors it's a chance for us to meet them and yeah. tell them a little bit about our, our, our ministry so welcome cool. to the fish shop What's so one funny thing about first job, right? Is like this here is your your guy is your girl, boy, and mm. uh, women's. Yeah. Your tiny little section over here is men's. We don't throw away our clothes. We just use them until they break. Exactly. It's awesome. Yeah, we don't get rid of clothes. So, uh, for such a time as this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Marcus and I have officially finished our lunch and we hung out at the homestead and now we got the whole crew. Everybody wave. Hi. Hello. And we are heading up to, what is it? First, First Ledge. First, First Ledge. ledge. Uh, up here, right behind their house here in Lincoln, New Hampshire. So, come along with us.
I made it to the top of that tough rope, uh, what would you call that, rope, pl rope climb, and uh, out of breath. My lungs are not used to this. <laughs> but man, it's cool. This oh, way? You can go either way. Either way? All right, I'm going to go the way you're going, Jesse. I'll have this way because I have a lot of land. Oh, cool. and uh, we got the gear all set up for them. I'll give you the close-up tour in a minute, but um, they're finishing getting camp set up. I thought I'd tell you guys that uh, I made a nice uh, dumb mistake before I came. I went to um, get all my gear packed up and I must have been rushing so much I left my suspension on a tree at home. So fortunately I always keep a spare hammock in the truck and uh, Heidi's coming up the hill with uh, that spare hammock later, but um, yeah, we make those mistakes and you just got to figure out something else along the way. It happens. But I'm letting all the kids do all the work on the fireplace before I do, and uh, yeah, it's been a good hike. Why are the on the end? Oh, that's a guitar string. <gasps> oh, from the guitar. good night's sleep over here. Um, you can see my orange setup over there and got the girls in their new setup and over by the uh, other side of the rock you got Marcus and his wife Heidi over there in a tent and um, yeah it was pretty sweet up here on first ledge. Beautiful night, clear. Uh, it's a little chilly this morning. I had to throw on my puffer jacket but um, yeah. We'll uh, keep you posted more as everybody starts waking up, but good morning.
So girls, what'd you think of the roving giant hammock gear sleeping in it last night? I was really comfortable. I might have moved like on my on my belly and then on my side. It felt really nice and in my quilt I was really warm and with the under quilt it's like protection and it's nice to have the uh, the tarp and the bug net because yeah. it's like your little house. Nice. I really, I definitely like the under quilt because if I didn't have the under quilt, I think I might be under, like, attaching my sleeping bag around my whole body mm. because it was definitely, I could definitely feel the coldness seep through. And um, the bug net was really nice because I hate being eaten alive by bugs. And actually, laying on my stomach was really nice and I felt really comfortable. I also liked how you had your own zipper on your side on the uh, magnet. Yeah. What about storing your stuff in the bottom? You like storing that, your stuff on oh, the bottom? Yeah, nice, because so, then you didn't have to go in and out to get your stuff. Uh, you, could just, you could just change reach it down, and then you'd have your own um, privacy under your tent. Perfect. So, thumbs up? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> hey everybody, so we're all packed up this morning. We uh, did a little bit of... Um, shot a couple shots you saw there with uh, how to do some of the connection points on all the gear that the Corys have here but they had a nice night's sleep it was a beautiful night out here and uh, now we're all packed up gonna head back down the hill thanks for coming along we'll see you next time stay curious <laughs> nicely done Stop the landing.